Welcome to my Physics GRE practice test solutions. So this is the practice test for the Physics GRE. Uh, this is available online. I'm going to work through some of these problems. We'll see how far I get. Uh, and let's just get started. I've already, I have a playlist of all the other ones I've done so far. I'm actually on number four. So if you want to see the other ones, just check out the link to the playlist down below. Okay, number four, for a circuit shown in the figure above, boom, uh, what is the current I through the two ohm resistors? So right there, what's that current right there? Okay, now I'm, there's a couple ways to do this problem. One of the things with the GRE is speed because you don't, you have a lot of problems, a hundred problems. So let me just draw the picture, which you wouldn't normally do, you could, but I wouldn't draw the picture. So I have 20 volts, I have a one ohm, I have a one ohm, one, one, and then I have a two. So what I want to do, um, you could do the following. You could say there's I, they use lowercase i, which is, I use capital I, I1, I2, I3, and then you could use the loop and junction rule to solve this system of equations. It's not too bad. But what I'm going to do is find I1. I'm going to find the current coming out of the battery. And to do that, I'm going to change this into an equivalent circuit that looks like this. And that will give me I1. Uh, and then from that, I can use the, uh, the current divider equation over here, over here. So I need to find this R equivalent resistance. So right here, I have three resistors. These two are in parallel. So I'm going to call that R1, and then I'll call that R2. So, well, let's just call that R1. They're in parallel. So if they're in pa parallel, then I multiply the two together, 1 times 2, divided by the them added together, one plus two is three. So I get two thirds, it's a two third ohm resistor. That comes from this one over R one equals one over one plus one over two. If you get a common denominator, it's two over two plus one over two, and that's two over, that's three over two, and that's one over R one, you flip it and you get two thirds. Now I add this resistor right there, so the total equivalence uh, of resistance R equivalent is going to be equal to 3 over 3 plus 2 over 3, that's 1, and that's 5 third ohms. So now if I know that, if this is a 20 volt battery, that's a 5 third ohm resistor, I total, I1, is going to be equal to V over R equivalent, so that's 20 over 5 thirds. So this is going to be 20 divided by 5 is 4 times 3 is 12 amps. That's a huge thing. Let's just look over here. Okay. So let's look. Sometimes you can look at the answer and see if it if you eliminate something. So it can't be that, right? The current through that one can't be uh, as much as the other one. Okay, so now we have this idea of a current divider. If I have current coming in, I1, and then I have a 2 ohm resistor and a 1 ohm resistor, well, where's more current going to go through? It's going to go through the lower resistance. But the total current has to be the same. So I can say, you can do this also by saying the voltage over here has to be the voltage over there. There's a lot of ways to do this. Um, and I'm doing this a short way because I'm not really under a time pressure, but I feel I'm simulating a, a time pressure, um, and it kind of stresses me out. So that's fine. So if that's the case, one out of the total so I here, we'll call that I, I guess I'll call that I2, and that I3. So I2 is going to be, um, hmm, I kind of forgot the current. It's going to be I1 times, I'm going to derive it. So I know that I1 equals I2 plus I3. I know that's true. That's the current divider equation. And see, I should have just done the system equations up here now that I forgot that equation. Um, and I also know that the voltage across this is the voltage across that because of the loop rule. So I2 times 2 uh, equals I3 times 1. So I really want I2. So let's substitute that in up here. I get I1 equals I2 plus I3, which is 2I2. So that's 3I2. 
So I2 is going to be I1 over 3. So this is that's one third of the current is going to go through the lower resistor and the other two thirds are going to go through the other one. That's what I got mixed up on, right? How do you do that? But that's fine. Uh, so now I know I1 is 5, is 12. So it's going to be 12 over 3, so 4 amps. That is answer number B. Playlist of the rest of the questions down below. I'll do another problem. It'll be another video though, so don't don't just hope you're not sitting here waiting for me to do another problem. I am going to do another problem. It's going to be in the playlist. Bye.